Welcome. The sun is relatively quiet at the moment, so it's time to do another quick quiz. You'll notice a slight difference between this and previous ones in that I have my voice back. The rules are as usual. I will ask five questions and give you 15 seconds to answer each. So let's get on with the first question. Question one, true or false? Tornadoes always spin anti-clockwise in the Northern Hemisphere due to the Coriolis force. Time is up. The answer to question one is false. It is false for two reasons. The first being that most tornadoes rotate anti-clockwise in the northern hemisphere, but not all. This alone shows that their rotation is not due solely to Coriolis force. However, if the supercell that produces the tornadoes is large enough, then it can be affected by the Coriolis force and then help create tornadoes that do in fact rotate anti-clockwise in the Northern Hemisphere. Question 2. The fastest winds ever recorded on Earth were in a tornado at about 100, 200, 300, 400 or 500 miles per hour. Which? Time is up. The answer to question 2 is about 300 miles per hour. That was recorded near Oklahoma City in the tornado outbreak of May 1999. Question three. What percentage of the world's tornadoes occur in the United States? Time is up. The answer to question three is 75%, but this can be misleading, as many places around the world do not keep an accurate record of the number of tornadoes that they see. Question four. Which state in the United States gets the most tornadoes? Time is up. That dubious honor goes to Texas. Question five. Tornadoes are extremely rare in the San Francisco Bay Area. So is this true or false? A tornado hit a brand new building in Sunnyvale, California in 1998. A couple of years later, another one damaged the same building. Time is up. That one happens to be true. It was the brand new satellite integration facility where Lockheed Martin was building the Iridium satellites. That has got to be one of the unluckiest buildings in history. Well, I hope you had fun doing the quiz. It wasn't that hard this time. See you soon.